Hey everyone, my name is Natalie, and I'm also known as Allison's mom, which makes you who? Allison. This is Allison. And we're going to talk to you guys today um, about essential oils for kids. Now, this is not for parents of kids. This is for the kids. So if you're a parent, out you go. I'm just kidding. You can stay and watch. But get your kids. Pause this. We'll wait. Did you do it yet? <laughs> Stop. All right. Got your kids? Awesome. So what we want to talk to you about is why we love essential oils so much at this house. Do you love essential oils? Awesome. Let me ask you something, Allison. Do you love going to the doctor? What's your least favorite thing about the doctor? They have to give you shots. Give you shots. Yuck. If we can avoid going to the doctor, would you like to do that? So that's our favorite thing about essential oils. We avoid going to the doctor a lot because we use them. So what do I always give you when you start to feel sick? Um, on guard beads. On guard is this really cool oil blend that is upside down. <sighs> There we go. And it makes you feel a lot better a lot quicker. So hopefully you won't have to go to the doctor. There are these itty bitty, can you see these beads? No, ah, I dropped it. They're super hard to find when you drop them. And yeah. actually you can't see them, you have to swallow. Have to swallow, but they're little itty bitty tiny beads that you just pop in your mouth and swallow, right Allison? Yeah. No problem. It's very easy. Very easy. And then you start feeling better right away. Aha, oh, that's dirt gross. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the other thing we do to stay healthy so I have to go to the doctor is we put this on every single night after we put our jammies on. Stronger. It's called Stronger. Does it smell good? <laughs> I think she likes this one. So this is a great oil. We put it on every night and it keeps us from getting sick. And look, look how much it's, we can't really see. There's a ton of it still in there and we use this every single night. So it does. So we just, where do we put it? Right here on our spine. We'll do it now. You can always use a little more feel good. Right on our, oh, you can't even see that. Where'd you go? Ah! There we go. Turn around again. Let me see your beautiful back. Right down the spine. Bloop. Now, if you're like, um, can't reach my own spine, Mrs. Schroeder, Allison's mom, Natalie, where else can we put it, Allison? On your chest. <laughs> and then you can smell it too if you like the smell. So, those are our two we use for not being sick. On guard beads and stronger. Now, what's really cool is there's this packet of kids oils that are super easy to use and they tell you exactly what they do with them. Now we're missing two. Yeah. Two that I like to use a lot when someone's being interesting and I'm not sure <laughs> why they've disappeared. I didn't hide. I just mm -hmm. One's called Calmer. She needs that one a lot. No, I don't. No, I don't. And the other one is called Brave. And that one I'm really surprised is missing because that's her. Which one? What do, you, what do you think about that? It's my favorite one. It's not like that. Yeah. And how does it make you feel? Energizing crazy. So it's a great wake you up oil. Also, I don't need it. well, she doesn't, she does not need help waking up. But. It's a great oil when you're feeling a little um, unsure or scared about what's going on. Some people are really anxious about all this virus talk right now and stuff like that. And so if you need a little help feeling a little more secure in what's going on, hey, then Brave is a great one for that. Some other ones we have is Thinker. Thinker. Now, do you like the smell of this one? We love this one. And this is one that we like to use when we need to focus a little bit more. So like if we're going to be doing homework or piano practice and or maybe, minds. or read, <laughs> maybe we're just needing a little bit less spastic. This one's never spastic, are you child? So what would you do if I was going to give you this one? Give me your, oh, you've got gloves on your hand. Well, normally here, we'll just show you with the gloves. We would put it on our hand and then what do you do with it? Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And those nice deep breaths also help you kind of calm and focus. So you're doing two things at once to help you. This one is called Steady. And Steady and Brave and Thinker all kind of work the same to me. 
But if you see, Thinker has brain, a little brain. Where are we? Well, you can't really see it. It has a little brain symbol on it. Oh, there you go, Allie, nice work. And Steady has a heart symbol on it. So if you're feeling like you need more help focusing with your brain, like thinking and doing homework, then Thinker's really good for that. If you feel like your heart needs some calmness, like you're freaked out a little bit, maybe, maybe Brave just didn't quite work for you, Steady's another really good for just calming down and getting right with what you need to do. She's going to be great after this. It's got coriander in it, not basil. Anyway, so the last of the kids' oils is Rescuer. What's this one for, Allie? Like, if you have a boo-boo. A boo-boo. So what little boo's on, this is a body symbol on top. All right, it's telling you it's for your body. So does anyone here have growing pain, pains? Yeah. Or just a second. Or play basketball or soccer and sometimes get hurt or sore. Rescuer is perfect for that. And these are all things you can put on yourself all the time that keep us from having medicine or going to the doctor. Do you like taking medicine? Do they all taste good? Um, well, the kids' ones do. Have you ever had any that didn't taste good? Well, I've had fluoride. Oh, that didn't taste very good, did it? Yeah. yeah. There was caramel, and it tastes so bad that, it had, that I didn't even want to close my mouth. And there was one that was grape that tasted the same. Do I ever put any of these in your mouth? No. So we don't have to worry about how they taste. That's yeah. a plus. All right, so those are the kids' oils. Yeah. Sure. So, well, you want to just show them now since we did all we did all these ones yeah. already. See, okay. she's got one more to show. I'm gonna show you the second one. You already showed them these ones. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do it again apparently. So. Santa has a little person on it. Mm -hmm. So that's for your body. Makes sense. Steady has a heart on it. Helps your heart feel calm. Thinker has a brain. Zombies mm. might like this one. Yeah. <laughs> zombies no. like Well, it keeps zombies away if you put it on your brain. <laughs> And then um, rescue Awesome. Good job. So those are the kids' oils. Remember, there's Calmer and Brave, too. And here's our kids' packet. Yes. It has, like, little spaceships on top. Yeah. <laughs> so there's one, there's a couple more, though, that we like to use. So, Allie, what is your favorite oil ever? Um, lavender. Lavender. Watch this kid with lavender. I know it's bad. <laughs> this this child loves this oil. This is the oil we put on at night. We'll put it on your feet. We'll put it on your chest. We'll let you <laughs> smell it. Well, we don't do it on her feet because she's ticklish. I like to put it on her feet. Yeah. And sometimes I'll put a drop or two on her pillow to help her sleep. And sometimes we put it in a diffuser at night too. Yeah. Sometimes I take my nostril spray and like spritz it. I, it got too close, and then when I lay down, like my pillow got all soggy. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we put lavender in the monster oh, spray too. Serenity is another one we diffuse at night to help calm us down. I so like is it nice when you're going to sleep to have a nice pleasant smell in your room? Does it help you fall asleep at night? Yeah, she likes it when we turn the diffuser so on. Special. We also have this one that she really likes that she asked me to put in her diffuser a lot. It's strong. It's strong. <laughs> yeah, what's it called though? Do you remember? Um, bergamot. Bergamot. Mm, that's a great one. But her other <laughs> second favorite oil is this one. What's this one? Rose. Rose. And it where do we put like that one? Um, so not only does rose smell great, and I know some of you boys might be like, um, I don't want to smell like a rose. Well, guess what? <laughs> it's also really good for your brain and to help you learn. And what's great about essential oils is even if you don't like the smell, they can still help you. You could put them on your feet and then put your shoes and socks on. <laughs> and then no one else can smell it, and you can't smell it, but it's still helping you. Isn't that awesome? One more thing we made up, Allison's, oh, I 
can I ever do this right? Allison's allergy blend. And what is this one for, Allison? Um, if my nose is running, I can put some on my hand. And what does it do? It helps my, it helps me Helps you breathe better, nice. So when have we used this one? Do we use this one every day? Um, no. We just use it when we need it, huh? Yeah. So these are all the oils that Allison and I use to keep her healthy and strong. And how often do you go to the doctor, Allison? Not very. Like for your yearly check-ins? Maybe once in a while for something crazy out of the, out of the blue that we can't take care of yeah, at home? Really bad one. Yeah. So that is why we love to use essential oils with you, the yeah. kiddos. Do any of you guys have any questions? If you do, if you can't do it yourself, you can have your parents type it and send it to me and I will be happy to answer them. All right, go get your parents back. Pause it. Yes. Oh my goodness, Allison. Yes, we can use all the oils on kids. Some of them we have to delete because they're a little strong, but there's no oils that are like not for kids. One of the things we say is the oils are for everyone from babies to grandmas. You, are you in between babies and grandmas? Then I can use them all on you. Yeah. Any other questions? That was a good question. I liked that one. Mm -hmm. I didn't even train her to say that. Yes. So lots of oils can be used for lots of things. So if you don't like the smell of one, you can probably find one that will do a lot of the same things that smells different. Let's say you didn't like lavender. What? I know. But there's another okay. oil called Pettigrain that does the same relaxing, but it doesn't smell flowery at all. Now, personally, I don't like the smell of that one, but maybe you will. So that's what's awesome about that, too. Which ones? Okay, real quick, she's going to find two more. Did you get your parents back if they weren't there already? Awesome. Parents, this is the kids kit. It comes with six of these kids oils that are, um, they have the symbols on them so the kids know kind of what to use them for. They're very self-explanatory. Um, you can also buy these individually if you like. I don't need this one, this one you can just buy. They're about 15-ish dollars each. And like I said, I use what, this one every night on Allison and it's like still half full and we've been using it for months. So they last a really long time. Okay. Turmeric and spearmint. Turmeric and spearmint. Now, why did you pick these two? Um, I don't know. I just well, like them. Turmeric is one that mommy uses all the time when she's in pain, huh? But it's one. Yeah, and also I just like the smell. Yeah, like smell it though. Don't get too close. Smell it from there. <laughs> yeah, that one does not smell good. That one's awful. But spearmint is awesome. Smell that one. This is great for, yeah, pick me up and make me feel good. You could use it as like, um, yep, there you go. Energy, that's what I was gonna say. So there's lots of oils for lots of reasons. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. Please call me if you have questions. Don't I call me, write me, text me. Thank you, Allison, for helping me teach this class. Bye, say bye-bye. Bye-bye.